let's start off by looking at what you're going to be given in terms of files and what the final program should look like here. Um, so you're going to be given, I guess, the skeleton program showing the procedures and functions that you're going to implement as well as the main part of the program that's going to call all the functions, display the user menu and so on. I've only given one, well, a few lines of actual code, the definition statements for the different functions, and one line of code that um, properly formats our indentation. So you'll be given this file. You will also be given um, a scoreboard file, which has some data for users. Now, this is saved as a CSV file. You can see there's a bunch of names here <clears throat> and also a bunch of scores with the maximum being 10 I believe and they are not sorted so that's going to be one of the jobs for that and the other file we're going to have to work with is the one called Socrative which is the name of our quiz and that won't open to show us that it's full of questions so let's find that um, Okay, here we go. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns and ten rows. So we're going to have to save that into arrays. Now what we'll eventually build up to is saving this in a record format because hopefully you can see that the first five rows, or five columns rather, would need to be stored using uh, a string and then the final column stored using uh, an integer but obviously these here look like integers but in actual fact they'll be strings because we need to choose a data format that suits everything in that column so the the program is going to read this file in it's going to prompt us with the column a question it's going to present the next four as the optional answers and then the final column shows the correct answer so for example the first one you can see a topology that fails if the central node fails as a start topology, which will be index zero. So I'm going to close that file down um, just in case there's any more errors. And the reason it's asking me about saving it is because it's a CSV file. And what you need to do is download and open the comments only file into uh, IDLE, and then we can get started.